Hi, I'm John Talk, the rector of Emmanuel Episcopal Church. Hi, I'm Dr. Jill Connett, and I am the head of school for Episcopal Day School. Hey, Jill. Hi, John. How are you today? Oh, it's a gorgeous day, and how lovely to be in the garden with you. So tell me about today. What are we doing? Why are we talking today? Well, first of all, this is Spirit Week at EDS, meaning that we are celebrating all of who we are and what we do. And a big part of that is being on the grounds and in relationship with the Emmanuel Episcopal Church. So Thursday is our day to celebrate that relationship between us and Emmanuel Episcopal and what all of that means. So what does that mean? What does being an Episcopal school add to the education of our students that a secular school wouldn't have? Well, one of the things that I absolutely love about our Episcopal identity, and in particular working with this church, is that I see and feel and get to experience on this campus all of the ways that you all show each other and our community how much God loves them in your outreach programs, in your taking care of each other um, in different ways. And I, I think we mirror that very well at Episcopal Day School with our Fruit of the Spirit program, with our chapel services, with our sacred studies, with infusing all of that into everything we do. And kids can't help but walk away with the same sense of love of God and love of community and how we can all be better in our community. Thank you so much. Sure. What does it mean, John, for us to be on the campus or the grounds of Emmanuel Episcopal Church? Well, I think what EDS brings to Emmanuel is two things. One, a celebration of lifelong learning. You can't be on our campus without seeing these children engaged and excited about the possibility of learning something new today. And to see their flexibility, their malleability, their, their ability and willingness to engage in new ways of being, I think is an example for us all. For example, in this COVID time, I and you and all the teachers are going around messing with their masks, trying to fit. The kids, they just put them on and they live their lives. Right. The second thing, EDS really brings a focus on the fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The fruits that St. Paul shares with us in his, in his letters. Mm -hmm. And that focus on love, on joy, and generosity, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm has really engaged my imagination. I think it's engaged the imagination of the parish in some really very fundamental ways. So I wanna thank you for that. Oh, thank you, thank you. So what so, do we do next? We're going forward. Yes. Hand in hand, metaphorically hand in hand. speaking. That's right. Arm in arm, <laughs> heart to heart. Right. As one two separate organizations, but one parish. Right. And that's really tricky. Yeah, it can be. How do we work that out? Well, I honestly think that more times like this, where we share a, more about what each other, um, what each organization is engaged in, I just think the more we take opportunities to learn about each other and we need to know more about what Emmanuel does in the community. Um, we love having people know more about us. Um, so I just think we need to find ways to be together more, whether it's through Zoom moments like this, uh, through recorded moments like this. Um, eventually, when we can be together face to face, um, how can we do that in a more cohesive way? Uh, I, lo I love getting together with you and your staff and talking about ways that we can do that. Um, I think there's a, there's a great potential for not just Emmanuel Church or not just EDS to make a huge impact on our community and beyond, mm -hmm. but doing it together, that, you know, I feel like the, the possibilities are limitless. So 
sounds good, Jill. 